The U.S. government, the FTC, suing to block Microsoft's takeover of Activision Blizzard on antitrust concerns. There's really only been one major opposer to the deal, and it's Sony. And Sony's trying to protect their dominance on console. And the way they grow is by making Xbox smaller. They have a, a very different view of the industry than we do. But because Sony's leading all of the dialogue around why this deal shouldn't go through. Ah, you'd be forgiven for confusing which one of these companies is the trillion dollar one. David versus Goliath. But Goliath pleads for mercy, making concessions as David ferociously and relentlessly gnaws away at Goliath's flesh over a sustained period of over two decades. When Satya Nadella said Xbox was all in on gaming, did he mean to only bring Microsoft's wallet to the battlefield? What happened to the fighting spirit that will actually determine who the winner is? Let us compete, you say? How about you stop begging third parties to allow you to do it and start doing it for your own accord? Pathetic. You see, this whole ABK fiasco has revealed the weaknesses and ugly side of both Sony and Microsoft. With Sony, you've seen the company's aversion to competition versus convenience, and yet it still dominates its opponent. Microsoft, however, has shown a remarkable lack of conviction in its own case. Sony's trying to protect its market dominance on the console market by making Xbox smaller. Why would Spencer even bother making this statement? Of course Sony's going to protect its market share by doing what it does. Why shouldn't it? PlayStation is its lifeblood. Without PlayStation, the company is doomed. So expect it to fight tooth and nail. But why is Microsoft the victim and not the bully? Spencer isn't wrong when he talks about how Sony operates in this space. PlayStation as a company will take the piss. If you give it an inch, it will take a mile. And we've seen plenty of examples of it doing so. The insane PS3 price point. Work two jobs, said the former CEO and chairman. PS5 console price hike. Lack of free upgrades to current gen systems. The quick adoption of the heightened game price from day one. It's enhanced customer service behind a loyalty scheme. The bald faced lie and obfuscation regarding cross-gen games its resistance to crossplay, its aggressive third-party money hatting, particularly with Japanese games. Just a handful of examples. They, they don't ship their games day and date on PC. They don't put their games into the subscription when they, they launch their games. But don't think Xbox hands are clean either. We saw it last generation with the desperate last-minute money hatting of Titanfall. EA and Microsoft struck a deal without even Respawn, the studio that built the game, knowing it happened depriving a brand new IP of a sizable console audience. Sony, Microsoft, Xbox, if you put it head to head with Sony PlayStation, they have 70%, we have 30%. We're the small entrant. Did he just say small entrant? Small entrant. You entered the space four generations ago and how did you try and start your premiership? What did Microsoft do when they started the Xbox? They tried to buy Nintendo. They literally tried to buy Nintendo. How about you stop pleading for leniency on disingenuous grounds? It's especially pathetic because if Microsoft was all in on gaming from the start, it would have slapped Sony into submission. But instead, its conflicting motives were abundantly clear with the reveal of the Xbox One. They have 286 exclusive titles, we have 59. Embarrassing. Why? Why do you have so few exclusives? You had 20 years to get your act together and only now are you just starting to realize the value of exclusives? We need some more first party games in order to be a healthier and stronger competitor. Stop begging for pity. Of course you need more first party games to be competitive, but you've got an abundance of game studios already. Where's your output? 
What's it looking like now? Explain the deafening silence of Xbox exclusives this year. Why is it that Xbox needs ABK in particular to help with this? Especially when the big game, Call of Duty, isn't even going to be exclusive. You're offering it to your competition for a decade. Does that mean every other ABK game is going to be exclusive on Xbox? Based on everything you've just said? They better be. And I mean, they're, they're, they're really twice as big as we are in the console market. So it's, I, I, it, I find it challenging. You find it challenging, yeah? That's a nice way of saying you're pissed off. But Sony spat in your faces as you tried to expand your operations with over $70 billion on the table. So what now? Are you actually going to fight or going to drop the good guy act? You've done enough for the history books to judge you as the good guys, right? You've postured enough for the regulators and look how that worked out. As you ready yourself to go to court to fight your case, are you going to fight Sony too? What I would love to be the environment in the background of Xbox headquarters is for all these suits to be pissed off and vexed, to rub their hands together and say enough. Let's show these bastards we mean business. How dare they give us the runaround in this space? We gave Sony too many liberties for far too long. There should be no excuse for content creators like me to be barking at Xbox in this day and age. It's on Xbox to put up or shut up. Xbox. How are you managing your studios? Is there no quality control taking place at these studios that you've supposedly given all of them mass freedom to do what they want? We don't want to hear excuses anymore. The Initiative, Undead Labs, even Playground Games with Fable. What's happening here? We want to see what you've promised. You decided to chew on the ABK endeavor. It's on you to make it happen whilst making sure that you deliver in 2023 and every single year after that. If you want respect in this space, you have to earn it. And the main way you do that here is by delivering quality AAA first party exclusives. No ifs no buts if you can't do that then perhaps you were never all in on gaming to begin with and you're better off walking away